communicate, we always have a purpose. We want someone else to know something that we know. However, a key question about what we're communicating can help both us and our reader be clear about what is expected. Marsha Bates at the University of California in LA made a startling discovery. Most of what we know we learn from just being aware. Few people have ever studied Ireland and learned from a book that it's nicknamed the Emerald Isle, yet most of us know that. Few people were ever taught to walk on the right or left-hand side of the mall, yet we do this instinctively. We learn, Bates estimates, over 80% of what we know by being passively aware of our surroundings. Sometimes our communications are designed to create awareness in other people. We don't need them to take any immediate action or even read the entire poster message. We just want them to be aware should they need the information in the future. With the amount of information bombarding us every day, we should consider that most of our awareness communications should be easily available to find via search. There's simply too much going on for us to consciously remember where we saw something before. We've all experienced a situation where we've lost something, and though we know we've seen it, we can't remember where. For these kinds of communications, we can clue in our readers by using key phrases like, for your information, or when you need it. This signals to our readers that the information may not be immediately relevant, but that they may find it useful in the future. Sometimes when we're communicating, our goal extends beyond simple awareness of what is possible to a definite understanding or knowledge. Here, our communication is a mini training session designed to enable our readers to choose different choices in the future. It may be explaining the cost of office supplies and encouraging their reuse. It could just as easily be explaining a different approach to storing boxes that is more efficient. The key is that the communication is imparting knowledge that can be used for a purpose in the future. And we want to fully encode the information in the mind of the recipient now. Using key phrases like, you'll need to know this, or consider, helps to signal the readers that this information they need to process now and be prepared to use in the future. Lights, camera, action. It all comes together when we want our readers to take some action because of our message. No longer are we trying to create passive or semi-passive interest in the information we're sharing. We want them to take an action. The chief problem in corporate communications is failing to make it clear exactly what behavior is required and that it's required now. Here the language and positioning are direct and not subtle. Messages should start with action required, followed by a deadline. This sends an unmistakable message that our communication isn't for passive reception or for pondering. It's for immediate action. Signaling our readers as to what we want them to do is critical in the information overload world that we live in today. No longer can we expect that we can communicate and the reader will sort out our meaning or know what we're looking for. In today's world, we need to make it clear what our intent is. The reader still gets to choose how they process the information, but at least they're not guessing as to what we wanted.